Hey everyone, this is Anshul Sadaria, SV2 at Google. In this video, we are going to talk about some of the top soft skills which are very, very mandatory for software engineers. But before we get started, if you want to keep learning from industry experts, make sure you check out Scalar's event page. Link is in the description below. Let's get started. Do you think that software engineering is just about writing code, shipping products and completing your projects? Nope. There goes in a lot of soft skills to manufacture the software developer that you are. And you have been learning those skills from the moment you were born. And being a software engineer, you have been exhibiting those skills subconsciously at different magnitudes. Soft skills for software engineers are not a fad anymore. Developing your soft skills will help you future-proof your career as a software engineer. A statutory warning to the robots out there. In this video, we are going to talk about the soft skills, not just from a corporate point of view, but I will also share how this will help you crack your technical interviews in the best possible way. Soft skills for software engineers can be such a game changer that you can never imagine. Just being an overproductive developer or someone with the best possible technical skills won't help you anymore. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word soft skills? Communication. Yes, that's correct. But have you ever thought that communication is not a one-way street where a person keeps on speaking? It involves two parties, a listener and a speaker, and both of them are equally important. I have seen this in a lot of my technical interviews, where the candidate with the best possible technical skills is not able to explain the approach. I have been in that boat. I lost a lot of my technical interviews because of this one little glitch. I was not able to explain my approaches properly. Also. It's not just about verbal communication. There are different ways of communication, non-verbal communication, written communication, and so on. Candidate with the best possible verbal communication skills are not able to convert their thoughts, their ideas, their designs into a proper demonstrable code. And then let me tell you about my good friend. He is an amazing software engineer, but when it comes to writing design documents, and statements of proof and purpose and some concepts which involves technical writing, he doesn't do it properly. I am sure if he works on those skills, he can have amazing growth as a software engineer. As I mentioned earlier, communication is a two-way road and listening is a very, very important communication skill. The people who listen effectively have an edge over those who just keep on talking. Listen to your colleague's opinion about different technical options. Listen to the requirements and needs of your user. This will widen your perspective. I have seen a lot of times in technical interviews that the candidate is so engrossed in solving the problem that they don't listen to the interviewer. The interviewer is saying something trying to course correct them, but they are on their own journey and ultimately solve a problem which they are not supposed to. So make sure that you listen with clarity communicate effectively and speak with confidence. Communication is a secret weapon of yours. So make sure you keep on sharpening it. Being a software developer, it's really important for you to be as much open-minded as possible and also be adaptive. In some situations, both of them may mean different things. They may rotate in cycles going together and in some of them, they perhaps mean the same thing. On this occasion, I remember a famous quote by Steve Jobs. Stay hungry, stay foolish. In an essence, what he meant was you to be as much open-minded as possible. The people who are open-minded, they are receptive to others' feedback. They listen and appreciate and value the feedback given by other people, identify their weaknesses and work on them. So if you are open-minded, it gives you an edge over other software engineers. Let me give you an example from one of my technical interviews. I was the candidate and Google was the company where I was interviewing. So I gave a solution in which I used dynamic programming as the core approach. Down the lane, I realized that, okay, this is not going to work. I was adaptive enough and quick to change my solution and came up with breadth first search based solution. And I was able to solve the problem correctly. Had I been stubborn at that point, who knows? I wouldn't even be here communicating with you all. So in an essence, make sure that you are receptive to other people's feedback and open-minded enough. Because as you climb the ladders of software engineering levels, this is going to be very, very important for you. All the leaders, those who are principal software engineers, engineering managers, and so on, 
one thing which distinguishes them from other software engineers is that they are very open minded they are receptive to so many new technical options that they are able to create the best possible products in their field to be honest i am a very restless person but being a software engineer has helped me become more patient with myself and people around me my mother thinks that being a software engineer what do i do sit in front of a laptop and get my salary at the end of the month but software engineering is not a easy thing it's a very complex feat let me explain you a typical software engineering cycle it starts with the product manager gathering the product requirements we as software engineers reviewing them and going through multiple iterations of that then going on with our high level design low level design getting them reviewed by your peers then jumping on to the coding plan coming with a testing plan and then creating the test suite and so on it involves so many processes that i am tired right now speaking about them but being patient is going to be your friend in this mission of software engineering let me walk you through a very funny interesting story one day i ping one of my colleague for some help on my testing plan his reply was that his laptop is apparently burning and please contact me after some time so after 4 hours i was like hey buddy is your laptop all right and we both had a really good laugh so ultimately the most important person who you should be patient with is you yourself only when you are patient with yourself that you will be able to be patient with others you will be able to be patient with the environment around you and once you are patient and acceptive of everything around you you will have a sharp mental stability which is unmatchable so being patient is going to be super helpful for you in this long strenuous journey even right now i am waiting on some of my colleagues to review my code changes that i have submitted a month back so give yourself some space to commit some mistakes to fix them and grow as an amazing software engineer management is a very crucial soft skill for software engineers as a software engineer you will be involved in different levels of management as a fresher you will begin with time management you will be involved in so many sub tasks at a time that you will get confused which one to prioritize over the other then as you move up the ladder you will realize that project management is very very important you will be scoping your project setting deadlines and make sure you put in 100% efforts to meet those deadlines it's okay if you say this task will be completed in 2 weeks and you need 3 more days but even after those 3 days if you are not able to complete that task we obviously need to talk another thing which i have found as a part of project management very very important is not to say yes to everything because if you say yes to everyone you are bound to disappoint a lot of people so saying no is a very helpful and a healthy skill also as you move up the ladder you will be involved in managing different teams people and so on but being a junior software engineer i am not the one to comment on that do you think you can be a successful software engineer being a lone wolf software engineering is a team sport you will be collaborating with a lot of people throughout this journey of project completion you will work with product managers your colleagues to get your design and code reviewed you will be working with testing engineers getting privacy consultations security consultations Whew, you will be collaborating with a lot of people all in all i am saying is that you should be someone who is happy and good to be working with let me share a interview experience of mine with you it was my third interview with google and me and the interviewer we both were trying to solve a product together we both were sharing some approaches he was sharing his approach i was trying to course correct him i was sharing my approach and he was trying to correct me we both moved together as a team and it was a great fun experience for me being at google i have learned one thing you won't succeed if your team doesn't succeed so make sure in order to grow as a software engineer your team is growing with you as well a lot of times candidates ask me this one question bhaiya what is the important skill to get into top tech companies i will tell you one secret and you already know that to get into top tech companies or any other company whatsoever being a good problem solver with critical thinking is at most important as an interviewer all i am looking for is an amazing problem solver yes the solution is of importance to me 
but something which is more important than that is how you came up with that approach that is what i'm looking for because as a software engineer you will be dealing with problems of different levels of complexity so how you break that problem down into simpler sub problems and how you deal with ambiguity that's what is going to define you as a software engineer a wise man once said to err is to human this means that if you are accountable if you can accept your mistakes you can grow as a human being and moreover as a software engineer in this case in our day to day daily life we make a lot of mistakes obviously as a software engineers we make more mistakes but it's important to take ownership of the task that you are doing and obviously ownership of the mistakes that you are making in one of my technical interviews it happened with me that i made a mistake i accepted it i apologized moved on and came up with the correct solution i took ownership of my solution and the mistake that i did i think that being humble in one way or other is in confluence with being accountable yes i have seen that the senior software engineers who have 15 years of experience or 10 years of experience as well they are the most humble software engineers around me if i lean into you for a secret when i joined my office i was very very scared to communicate with the senior software engineers i was like will they give any importance to me will they accept the solutions which i am providing will they accept the technical diversity i am bringing to the table and to my surprisement I was astonished to see that they were the people who listened the most who were the most humble software engineers around me and that is the reason they are the leaders that they are at the moment so stay humble be accountable of your mistakes that will help you become a better human being and obviously a better software engineer at google we follow a blameless culture yes googlers also make mistakes but who made the mistake is not of importance what mistake was done how did we recover from it where were we lucky and how can we ensure that the mistake is not repeated in future that is of utmost importance to us that has helped us become more fearless and creative software engineers what differentiates us from robots emotional awareness emotional intelligence and what not as a software engineer you will build products you will build items which are ultimately going to be used by your customers who are human beings so it's a fun fact which is very common in software engineering it's that your customer is never going to use your product the way you intend them to use okay that might be a bit of exaggeration but if you prepare for 10 use cases which you intend the user to use your product like the customer will come up with some innovative 11th use case and ultimately defy the purpose of your software development so it's really important to understand what emotion is driving your user to behave in a particular way so that you can build better products for your customers because ultimately your victory is when the customer wins apart from customer's perspective let's look at empathy from the point of view of teamwork and collaboration more often being a software engineer you are going to work in teams where there are people from diverse backgrounds so make sure that you respect their belief systems accept whatever technical options and variety that they bring on to the table this will enable you to do your job in a better way a very important part of people skills is being approachable i have seen a lot of software engineers who grew more than others only because they were more approachable and helpful than others The project that I'm currently working on at Google, I'm trying to integrate a new piece of infrastructure with my team's code base. And the software engineer with whom I'm collaborating, she is so so helpful and approachable that she always goes beyond the edge, beyond what is assigned to her to make sure I have an amazing experience. A lot often you will realize that the success of a project depends on the software engineer who is working on that project. You know why? because it correlates with the right personality of the software engineer but remember being approachable doesn't mean you say yes to everyone as you remember my earlier point if you say yes to everyone and every ask that a person needs help for you are likely to disappoint a lot of people so a little bit of moderation with some yes and no's and being helpful and approachable will help you grow as a software engineer and that's what i have seen in one of my close friends 
ही इज सो स्वीट एंड सो अप्रोचेबल दैट ही ऑलमोस्ट ऑलवेज सेज यस टू एवरी वन हु नीड्स हेल्प अराउंड हिम एंड आई हैव सीन हिम ग्रो मोर देन एनी अदर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर दैट आई हैव सीन अराउंड मी सो मेक श्योर यू आर फ्रेंडली एम्पथेटिक एंड अप्रोचेबल टू एवरी वन अराउंड यू इन अ टीम कॉलेबरेटिव एनवायरमेंट अवर सॉफ्टवेयर इंडस्ट्री इज ग्रोइंग एट अ वेरी रेपिड पेस so if you are missing out on self learning new technologies and new languages you are not going to progress as a software engineer curiosity is one such soft skill which will be your friend in your journey of self learning new things let me tell you an interesting experience with one of the candidates i interviewed recently i provided that candidate with a problem and he went above and beyond to identify the root cause of the problem and came up with a more effective and a better solution than what i was expecting from him another example of me and my close friend i am someone who minds my own business looks at the problem identifies the solution and comes up with a mitigating way he is someone who goes above and beyond to identify what actually caused the root cause of the problem tries to find some supporting ways in which he can also make the code base somewhat better than the current situation solves the problem and also helps the software engineers around him it is this habit of his to be more curious to be more explorative than what is expected of him that has made him a technical dependable teammate who most of the people in my team approach for so be a little more curious about the problem you are working on be a little more explorative about the code base about why a customer needs a particular feature about what technical solutions may be more beneficial than the current state of the art of the technology and i am sure you will lean on a super beneficial software engineering journey by now i am sure you are starting to pick up a pattern all of these soft skills are interrelated with each other and they complement together to a successful dynamite package of a software engineer if you like such amazing content make sure you like this video put in your suggestions in the comments below Make sure you hit the bell icon so that you never miss a notification and subscribe to Scaler's YouTube channel.